I thought Bella and I would give y'all a little quick tour of our backyard setup. I'm pretty satisfied with where it is, except maybe doing some painting if I can get around to that. Uh, this is the quail coop. And I did decide that the quail needed privacy from Bella. She was barking at them too much, so I put up this... I had a tarp, and I cut it and put it around the edge. They still get sunlight coming in through that upper part there and filtered through the tarp. So I think they're getting plenty, especially when it gets hot in the summer. This is our chicken coop, which is a repurposed utility shed that we've had for so long. I don't even remember when we had got it. And I took out some panels and framed in with the stuff. Here are our chickens. I'm going to let them out into the run, which is the alley. Kind of serves a dual purpose of keeping down the uh, the weeds and everything back there. I covered the end of the alley behind the bungalow so that they can't get attacked by hawks as easily. We have lost a couple of birds to hawks and hopefully this will prevent that from happening. Here's where they can go into our very miniature small run between the chickens and the quail. So the other side of that is the entrance into the quail aviary and they cannot interact with each other. Uh, what is it mama? When are you going to start laying eggs? huh? They've been freeloaders. No eggs. But most of them were young. I have two dummy eggs in their um, nesting boxes. And that's their roost for night. So I just have a variety so I get a variety of color eggs. Okay, so we're inside the coop. Now we're going to go out. Ouch! And there's Miss Bella. And so let's go around the quail aviary. So I water the chickens. That's kind of our watering area. This The chickens have a a tub down there that we fill with water and treat it for mosquitoes with a uh, animal friendly mosquito stuff and we just top it off every now and then and also in the summer they can actually get in it which is nice because they sometimes need that and this is our system for watering the quail which is just a five gallon bucket I put the black tarp on it the downside is it will heat up the water more but the upside is it will keep algae growth down and I have a valve here that I can turn off when I want to clean it out. And then this is just a repurposed uh, hurricane fence gate that we had. That's why I used it. I wouldn't recommend buying one. That's just what we had. And I used a little stop at the top and at the bottom. There it is down there. Uh, to hold the gate in. And on this side, again, I just repurposed some stuff we had for uh, keeping Bella from looking in. The reason I have the blue tarp in the middle is because all the rain seems to pour off that one side. And it was going into the, co into the aviary. And so now I'm diverting it outside the aviary. And there's the gate that I did have in the back of this aviary run. And I moved it to the outside. And just rigged it up. It works great. The chickens are behind that gate and down the alley. So I'll go in the quail run. <clears throat> I've already shot some videos of this, but I'll go ahead and go in. It's pretty simple. I just kick it open. Tell Bella to stay out. No, Bella. No, Bella. Out. <laughs> no, Bella. I can lock it behind me. There we go. So here's our little quail set up and that cage is the bachelor pen that's where we keep the the males that we're uh, going to harvest for meat um, if you have too many males with the females they'll fight and they'll kill each other and it's not a good deal so you want one male per four or five hens and as you can see they love these little buckets let me see if I can zoom in before they start running so they're all huddled in there 
These are about four weeks old and they love this aviary. They've been so good. And so I've got a lot of little cubbies for them to go in when we have more birds. This is an automatic feeder I set up. I learned all this stuff from just studying YouTube videos. This one you feed from the top, it goes down. They don't waste their food. There's literally no food waste, which is wonderful because quails are messy. And this is where they get their water. I just The water runs gravity fed down from that black bucket. And if I want to, oh, and there's a similar thing here in the, uh, I have a bucket on top with nipples on the bottom for the bachelors. And they figured it out right away. They've had no problem. So if I need to fill that bucket, I'll just use a cup. And I can actually come down here, turn this on briefly, and fill. And that's all from my five gallon bucket. So literally all I have to do to fill the watering system is from the hose every couple of weeks. Fill it with the hose, fill the chicken water, and then fill the bucket at the top. Now, getting out of here was really interesting. Uh, because I've got the wire so close so that nothing can get in, getting my hand out through here, I was poking myself on that wire, so I strung up a little stick that I can kick that open and push the gate open. And the bottom one doesn't have to be latched except for when I'm closing it up to keep Bella and other critters out. So if I'm inside, all I have to do is do the top one like that. Anyway, that's it. I'll back up and have one more view of my aviary. Uh, the outside is has double wire all the way around it. A layer of, depending on which side it's on, it's got either chicken wire plus hardware cloth, or there's even a couple places in there where it's probably got two layers of hardware cloth. And the roof I did with that PVC poultry netting, except on the ends, the ends has a hardware cloth, but the top is PVC poultry netting. If I need to, I can go inside and add chicken wire on the inside. I hope I don't need to. I think it's actually gonna be fine. I, with the tarp on top, on top of the PVC, and we don't live in the country. We don't have like tons of predators. We just have a few, and so, I think that's going to work just fine. All well, the little fence around the outside was left over from uh, the gardening project at the bar center. So I just thought, well, that looks cute around there. I'll just stick that around there. So that's it. That's my little setup. I think we're going to be real pleased with it. I've got hatchlings coming out this week. So far we have 15. Uh, expecting, hoping for at least double that. We'll see. Thank you.